Freedom of speech might seem like a very simple, straightforward concept, but it clearly isn't. And we all realize, if we're honest to ourselves, that there are certain limitations to it. There are certain things, there are situations in which you cannot simply say whatever you like, wherever you like, and whenever you like. That is clear to any one of us. And we all have heard the simple examples like, you know, shouting fire in a crowded cinema, for example, or accusing somebody of a specific crime. You cannot simply do that. And if you do, try it, you might find yourself defending yourself in a defamation case. So, yeah, you cannot simply say whatever you like, whenever you like, and wherever you like. But on the other hand, we would like to think, and um, yes, I accept that, that there are a lot of things happening at the moment where people might put question marks against whether this is true or not, but we would like to think that uh, our governments, our lawgivers and so on, are taking freedom of speech very seriously, and even assuming that they do, and accepting that a lot of people will disagree on that, assuming that they do, even then they will have to implement certain limitations on what you can or cannot say. So given that, let's see if we can think of a better definition maybe for freedom of speech, something that makes it clearer in principle what should or should not shouldn't be acceptable as freedom of a speech as freedom of speech and i think when it comes to that it helps if we start thinking of the two sides of what actually constitutes freedom of speech and in that regard i would consider that i would propose that the two sides that that make up what is actually freedom of speech constitute of freedom of expression on the one hand and freedom of opinion on the other hand and this is where it gets interesting because obviously freedom of expression should mean that you should be able to give expression to your identity as a human being give expression to the things you love you don't love the things you like to do and so on and so forth and freedom of opinion should consist of you being able to speak your mind about certain things. But where are the limitations in that? And let's look at the two things in isolation. When it comes to freedom of expression, for example, there is the matter of invading other people's personal space. Even though you should be allowed to give expression to your personal identity, you cannot simply do this anywhere you like if it means you are going to invade other people's personal space to give a good example of this look at somebody who for example likes loud rock music now they are certainly they certainly should have the right to give expression to that but on the other hand uh, putting up a rig in the middle of the street in the middle of the night and blasting out rock music at 3 a.m is clearly not acceptable as a means of giving expression to your personal identity. Similarly, somebody who is, um, whose personal identity is one of sexual freedom, for example, has every right in the world to give expression to that with other consenting adults, but on the other hand, um, public fornication is still not actually acceptable in our society because people feel that that sort of public display Invi invades their personal space. They feel uncomfortable around such things. So when you are going to give expression to that sort of thing, if that is your personal identity and you're giving expression to that, you might want to find somewhere private to do so. And you have the right to find such private places to do this, but you aren't in your right to simply strip off in the middle of the street in a public space and go about your business there. So we do have these, this balancing act when it comes to giving expression to your personal identity on the one hand. Similarly, when it comes to opinion, we again need to respect people's personal space and their boundaries when it comes to 
giving expression to your personal opinion. So in other words, you have a right to go into a public arena and express your opinion, but other people have the right to turn away from you and walk away. And you do then not have the right to impose your personal opinion on them, to start following them down the road and keep getting in their face and keeping on shouting your opinion to them. This will lead to you being arrested on charges of disturbing the peace, for example. So this again gives you an indication of what you can or cannot do. Also when it comes to giving your opinion, you have the right to express your value judgments. That is what that means when you are, uh, you have the right to express your opinions. You have the right to express your value judgments, the things you like and you do not like, the things you do or do not find acceptable, for example. You have a right to give expression to that. What you don't have the right is to express personal opinions that have a basis in fact. And this might seem strange, but I again refer to my example earlier on of accusing somebody of a crime, of a specific crime, you haven't got a right to do that. And if you do do it, and you make an a public accusation of somebody, uh, uh, level it, if you level in pers uh, public, uh, if you level a specific accusation at somebody, you may find yourself defending yourself in a court of law against charges of defamation. And rightly so. You simply do not have the right to accuse people of something without any substantial evidence to back your claims up. So freedom of speech cannot extend to factual claims. It can only extend to value judgments. And that is something we do need to understand. But on the other hand, this then immediately points out, it immediately shows that there are huge grey areas in which things aren't very clear cut. For example, if I express my opinion that a certain politician is a bit of an asshole, then it is clear that I do not think that he is actually part of the human anatomy. That is very clear. It cannot be interpreted as a um, factual statement about this person. So this is clearly a expression of a value judgment opinion and it should be allowable. On the other hand, if I claim that somebody is a child molester, that they would have a perfect right to sue me for defamation. Those two extremes are very clear. But what if I say somebody is a liar? There's nothing specific about that. But on the other hand, I do make a semi-factual claim about that person. Is that allowable or isn't it? Where do you draw the line? I don't think there is, in fact, a clear line to be drawn there. There is, in fact, no obvious dividing principle that separates defamatory statements from simply value judgments. And that's where it gets difficult. That's where reality, I'm afraid, is very difficult. And there is no simple answer that says freedom of speech should cover this, that and the other and not something else. Sometimes it's even very dependent on the circumstances under which certain things are being said or not. This of course then opens a huge potential for abuse by the people in charge, by the governments, by the lawgivers and so on. Because in a society in which there is a reasonable definition of what freedom of speech actually consists of, they will seek to abuse the fuzziness. They will seek to expand the fuzzy areas, to redraw the lines in the sand and to try and interpret something that they do not find acceptable in terms that would indeed not be acceptable. So they would try, they would seek to redefine a expression of an opinion in terms that make it sound very much like an expression of an opinion about fact. And then, of course, the defamation route is opened to them. And so on and so forth. 
So this is a sort of conundrum that we will find ourselves in when we are thinking about freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is not a straightforward concept. It's not something that can be very simply defined and that can be clearly applied to every situation that we find ourselves in. This is a problem. And what do you think? How can this be addressed? Can it be addressed? Is there a solution? Or is this one of those famous wicked problems? <laughs>